Welcome back to our channel, where we explore fascinating concepts in electrical engineering. In today's video, we're going to dive into the intriguing world of synchronous generators and parallel electric networks. Get ready to unlock the secrets behind power generation and system frequency. Imagine a scenario where we have three synchronous generators operating in parallel on an electric network. These generators come with different rated capacities, 100 megawatts, 250 megawatts, and 400 megawatts, respectively. Now, each of these generators has a 5% speed droop, which means that their output frequency decreases as the load increases. Currently, the generators are operating at 50% of their rated capacities, and the system frequency is at a stable 60 Hz. But what happens when we increase the total system loading by 200 megawatts? To find out, we need to calculate the new system frequency and the loading of each generator. First, let's determine the frequency change for each generator as the load transitions from no load to full load. Using the droop percentage, we can calculate the frequency change for each generator, which is 3 Hz. To calculate the droop for each generator, we divide the difference between the no load frequency and the full load frequency by the total power. For the first, second, and third generators, the droop values are 0.03 Hz per megawatt, 0.012 Hz per megawatt, and 0.0075 Hz per megawatt, respectively. Now, Let's find out how the additional power is distributed among the generators. We express the total power change as the sum of the power change for each generator. Considering that all generators operate at the same reduced frequency when the load is increased, we can calculate the additional power generated by each generator by dividing the difference between the old system frequency and the new system frequency by the droop setting of the respective generator. After solving these equations, we discover that the new system frequency is 59.2 Hz. And by substituting this frequency into the droop equations, we determine that the first, second, and third generators are generating an additional 26.667 MW, 66.667 MW, and 106.667 MW of power, respectively. Thus, the new generated power for the first, second, and third generators is 76.667 MW, 191.667 MW, and 306.667 MW, respectively. And there you have it. By increasing the total system loading and considering the unique characteristics of each generator, we successfully calculated the new system frequency and the loading of each generator. Understanding these concepts is crucial for maintaining a stable power network. Thank you for joining us today on this electrifying journey through synchronous generators and parallel electric networks. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating content. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. Created with passion by Bobak Nia